Salut à tous, ici Sprilex et bienvenue dans ce septième épisode de Let's Play sur Atomic Heart. Allez, on avance. Euh, il faut qu'on redescende. Voilà, très bien. Récupère tout ce qu'on peut. Ok, il euh, y a encore du... Est-ce que je dois aller là-bas J'aime pas ça, hein, le... Non, pas de robot oh. Pour une fois. Comrade Major. Euh... Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? Uh, sorry, it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Coffre toujours là que je sais pas prendre, peut-être ici. Ah. Et donc tout ça c'est un décor en fait, hein. c'est c'est faux, un trompe l'œil. Pas bien. Va. So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew it. Okay. Encore le bordel. Alors, de 
le fort ardent. D'abord regarder s'il n'y a rien. Rien là-haut. Ici, il y a une serrure. Il me dit quoi 23, 22, ok oui. Ah oui d'accord c'est pour revenir ici Ok Très bien C'est fait supposed to do I have no data I've never been here before uh, okay I'll deal with it oh you resist a bit please opening le nom des plantes euh... C'est pas rien d'important. Ah d'accord, oui. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Refroidir les chaudières. Too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. Oh. 
Non, je savais plus. Bon. On va produire la chaudière. Bah, je vois pas comment hein. Il doit y avoir un moyen Je vérifie hein, mais Ça. Euh, je que non, c'est de la musique russe, c'est vraiment... marche pas bien euh... tiens j'ai même une carte en fait <rire> j'ai jamais jamais remarqué ah là, non j'ai pas univers d'accord oui c'est euh, et pour mes quêtes euh... en fait oui refroidir les chaudières euh... bon bah on va monter on verra bien hein. temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Yeah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. You want anything? Ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Donc c'est bien ici qu'il faut que je fasse quelque chose. Allez, on est dedans. Ça veut pas. Ah, mais elle est là. D'accord. Allez. Là. Gee, are 
you sure? Ok. Ah, oh, merde. Voilà. It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. Donc euh... Voilà. Et... Ok, je commence à prendre le coup de main là. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. Alors, we're doing this so we can leave the Babylon complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Ok. Alors. L'énigme est, est sympa, mais le, la direction de la boule, c'est un peu galère. Hein. Sinon, l'énigme est sympa, hein, mais... Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. Please select the desired procedure. Alors, voyons, oui, ressources insuffisantes. 
Améliorons Electro par exemple. Pas assez de ressources. Alors ici, il fait meilleur. Hein. mars Là, oui, d'accord, je suis ici. Ils essaient de terraformer Mars avec des trucs qui résistent à la chaleur. Alors que sur Mars, Mars il fait... Allez. Au mieux, en été, il fait moins 20. C'est bizarre, là, comme... Euh... Peut-être éviter d'aller là-bas. Hein. C'est là qu'il faut aller. C'est raté. Non. Ah, par là. Comment je grimpe là Camarade robot, non plus. Raté. Voilà. Alors ici. Et encore le camarade robot. Bon, je grimpe là-haut. Euh... Euh, J'imagine que je dois faire descendre les, les plateformes d'une façon ou d'une autre. Mais je vois pas comment. Je dois pousser le, le robot là-bas, peut-être. Non, ça c'est pour l'arrêter. Il n'y a rien sur ces. Il me manque une info. Bien faire, il me manque une info. Qu'une idée. Un, deux. Sur les deux caisses qui étaient. Ah oui! Oui, c'est bon. Tu as fini par l'acheter, peut-être exaucer ça. Pour que tu. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Ok. Petite 
montre. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something uh, fucked up happens. It's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and be a steel worker, even if I have shit. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest Access friend to the right and trusted the complex colleague. Is now available. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Okay. Saving data. Don't flocon. Authorization. Major Nichayev. Code. Alors, voyons un peu. Est-ce que je peux améliorer le PM? What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Now I've seen it all. Il faut que ce soit du faisable quoi. Voilà. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Non, on va éviter. D'abord, un ordinateur et c'est tout. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, and there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to. I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class. They tell you to split up into pairs. Um, How long ago did you die? I don't remember. But I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks. Like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasyev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them. He just had time to say, oh, 
That's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Uh, okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. C'est un peu tard ça, mais bon. Ok, bon, bah, on va s'arrêter là pour cet épisode et on continuera bah, dans le suivant, tout simplement. Alors, merci d'avoir regardé, j'espère que ça vous a plu. N'hésitez pas, comme d'habitude, le petit pouce en l'air, le commentaire, l'abonnement et portez-vous bien. Allez, bye